All right, Shalom. I'm going to start out with giving all praise and honor glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rabbi Kakadash, the bonus of the apostles, you nailed know, us a great millstone, peace and salutations to the whole fleet elect. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power, Yah, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Just want to do a quick in transit. I want to start out the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1. And this is the Apostle Paul speaking. Listen to what he says. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of a Mashiach. Let's read it again. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of a Mashiach. Okay? Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. Okay, so a lot of you people, you have this notion that, oh, I don't follow man. I'm not a man pleaser. I'm not this. I'm not that. I don't have to follow men. But Apostle Paul is giving you, directing you in the spirit, right? Paul is giving you guidance in the spirit of saying what? I read it again. Verse, verse 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me. Even as I also am of a Mashiach. Right? Now, we believe, and I saw myself, I believe the apostles and elders of Great Millstone are followers of who? Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay? So I follow those men as they are my spiritual parents. Right? Starting with the apostles. Okay, then the elders on down who are guiding me through the spirit. Let me say that again. Who are guiding not just me, the flock. Okay, as they are have been continuing to feed the sheep. All this laboring that they have been doing, all the different uh, things that they have endured. Yes, I am following those men. Okay? And as they are giving out spiritual ordinances. You see? They're not saying things just because, you know, it sounds good. Right? No. They're leading us by the spirit. In the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And a lot of you people seem to forget that. Okay, what do y'all say? I don't follow man. That's what y'all say, right? Y'all don't look at this the the spiritualness behind that, the spiritual benefit behind that. Okay, long as that long as you know my teachers, the men that I follow are what guiding me through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, then that's all that matters. You know, see, you guys are looking at, you know, carnal things. You guys are looking at the flesh. And a lot of you, that's a lot of you individuals, that's what you are. Okay? A lot of you people don't have spiritual discernment when certain topics come out, certain situations come about. Right? The first thing that comes in your mind is what? Carnality. You don't look at the spiritual aspect of the different things of what's actually taking place. <laughs> I got to read it one more time. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me. Right? Even as I also am of a Mashiach. So, Paul's letting you know. Apostle Paul's letting you know that he is a follower of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, be a follower as he is. As he is a follower of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. He was directly taught, you know, by Yahweh Shai. And the ordinances which he were given, he passed it down to who? The people that were under him. Right? The people to whom he were around. So the th same thing is happening, right? Starting with the apostles and elders of what? Of who? Of Great Millstone. A lot of you people don't have the spiritual discernment to see of what's actually taking place. Right? That's why the scripture says, let the elders that rule well, well be worthy of double honors. Right? So 
lock up on the trash and let the elders boom first timothy chapter 5 verse 17 let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor especially they who labor in the word and and doctrine and the, and the apostles and elders, right? Starting with the apostles, they have what? They have labored. Okay, they have labored in this doctrine. You see, they endured the BS that Israel doing. Because it's it's look, man, it's, it takes a lot to put up with the BS that Israel be doing. Jake, Jake, Jake be on some BS, man. You know, even go back to the history of the scriptures of you know the, the things that the prophets had to go through, you know. What well, Yahweh Shai had to go through. Jake be on some BS, man. You know, and Jake don't be following the spirit. And we are seeing the same thing happen today. <clears throat> okay. Now, you know, I mentioned spiritual parents. You know, even as a, a Paul, you know, was speaking how he was a, a father unto a, a, a Timothy. I can't get it at the moment, but um. Apostle Paul was a, was a father, you know. So was that his? <clears throat> was Timothy his biological son? No. Okay, but he was his spiritual parent. He was a spiritual parent who was uh, nourishing him, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, feeding uh, Timothy what with the word, you know, through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find that. Uh... Also, I want to see if I can find out what Apostle Paul mentions that as a Timothy of being his son, you know. But we know this is talking about, uh, you know, in a spiritual sense. You know? And see, it's just, it's just the point that Jake, Jake is not understanding. They're not understanding this, you know. They're children of disobedience, rebellious children. You know, you know, the Lord always uh, referred to us as that hard hearted, stiff neck, rebellious children. Right. So look at it in a sense of, you know, as we have the spiritual parents today trying to give us, you know, the uh, the guidance and the direction to go. You have a lot of Jake who who. Who is rebelling against that? <laughs> All right. Um, goodness. Let's fucking find one. <clears throat> 